Discussions are a great way to get the children talking about a particular topic, um, about different threads, for example. So to do that, again, I'll just click on add. I could either click on add here or it will be the green button within the resources folder, depending on what, what feature you're using. And I'm going to go to show all and I want discussion. So I'm going to call this elements of drama discussion. You get the option to have anonymous posts if you wanted to. Um, probably at this stage, it's not something you'd want to do because you'll probably want to know who's speaking about what, but it is always an option, especially when it comes to discussing things um, that are, need to be discussed um, quite privately, maybe. Um, you can categorize it if you wanted to and decide when to um, activate it. If it's something that they're going to be marked against, you could add then add the learning objectives. At the moment, I don't have no learning objectives assigned to um, this particular course. But if you wanted to, obviously, you go to settings and learning objectives. Now, if I click save, you'll see my elements of drama discussion is here. So I'm going to go into this discussion forum and explain a bit more about discussions to you. So discussions don't have to just be used in a course for a classroom. They can always be you um, they can also be used at other levels as well. For example, just a generic discussion between all students in all different classes or um, a certain year group. They could also be used in staff rooms. So between staff. And of course, they could also be used with parents. So if you wanted to open a discussion forum to allow parents to discuss a certain topic, for example, school closure, um, you can create a discussion on that. So to create, start a conversation, you'll just click on new thread and we're going to call it topic one at home. And this is where I want students to discuss how learning at home is going for them. Now, of course, drama is one of those things that is quite hard to learn from a textbook, so it would be good to open up a discussion for them. So they could go in there and then start their discussions. So obviously, I've said what I needed to say. My, the other children could go in and say their next bits and post a reply. And eventually, over time, you can see the thread as it goes through, you can sort it in date order or participant order. The great thing about a discussion is that the teacher has control of the conversation that is going on. Um, you do get options for reports, so you can see the number of threads that have been created by the students um, and the number of comments they've done to see if there's anyone that's maybe not actually communicating or getting involved. Um, again, all about the visibility in the sense that we can now see who is getting involved and who isn't. Um, we go, I'm going to show, now show you an example of another discussion where there's actually some comments.